situation and, and in fact I've got a mediation next week, this time next week, where the couple haven't spoken to each other for three years. In fact, in that period of time they've had one conversation and that's simply because they ran e into each other at school, at the children's school, when neither one of them thought the other one was going to be present. Now, in those situations, mediation is still possible because you can do what's called shuttle mediation. And what shuttle mediation is, is where the clients are in different rooms um, and it's me that shuttles between them. Uh, and effectively, we try to have a dialogue, but it's with me sort of be, being the, do, the, the person, the other person, so passing on their views and then taking back views or comments on, on what they've said. That's what I always say to clients who are very reluctant to, to be in the same room as their former partner or spouse, um, that we can potentially try it by having shuttle mediation. And it's often the way that um, once they've got used to the system or got used to what the, the expectations are, they can then go into a room together. I have one particularly successful shuttle mediation where um, we had, I think it was two sessions which were in separate rooms. Um, we started contact up and running and it started to progress and then gradually the mediation moved so that they were both in the same room but it just needed that sort of breaking in period where they just needed not to be in the same room but then when they knew no bad things were going to happen they could then move into the same room and start to have the dialogue between them rather than me sort of passing on messages from one to the other. So even if somebody is very reluctant to be in the same room as their former partner or spouse there are ways to overcome that and, and for mediation still to be used and still to be successful.